Hagia Sophia. UNESCO World Heritage Site in Istanbul, Turkey. For other uses, see Hagia Sophia, disambiguation. Hagia Sophia, H.I. Sophie, from the ancient Greek, Hagia Sophia Romanized, Hagia Sophia, Latin, Sancta Sophia or Sancta Sapientia, Holy Wisdom, or the Hagia Sophia Mosque, Turkish, Hagia Sophia Kami, and formerly the Church of Hagia Sophia, Church of Holy Wisdom, is a late antique place of worship in Istanbul that has served as a Greek Orthodox Christian Patriarchal Cathedral, a Roman Catholic Cathedral, an Ottoman Mosque, and a secular museum. Built in AD 537, during the reign of the Roman Emperor Justinian I, it was then the world's largest interior space and the first to employ a fully pendentive dome. It is considered the epitome of Byzantine architecture and is said to have changed the history of architecture. Quick Facts, Location, Designer Built as the Christian Cathedral Church of Constantinople between 532 and 537 on the orders of the Roman Emperor Justinian I, the basilica was designed by the Greek geometers Isidore of Miletus and Anthemius of Tralles. The present Justinianic building was the third church of the same name to occupy the site the prior one having been destroyed in the Nika riots. Episcopal See of the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, it remained the world's largest cathedral for nearly a thousand years, until Seville Cathedral was completed in 1520. In 1204, it was converted by the Fourth Crusaders to a Roman Catholic cathedral under the Latin Empire, before being restored to the Eastern Orthodox Church upon the return of the Byzantine Empire in 1261. After the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire in 1453, it was converted to a mosque. In 1935, it was secularized into a museum. In early July 2020, the Council of State annulled the Cabinet's 1934 decision to establish the museum, revoking the monument's status and a subsequent decree of the President of Turkey ordered the reclassification of Hagia Sophia as a mosque. The church was dedicated to the wisdom of God, the Logos, the second person of the Trinity, its patronal feast taking place on 25 December, Christmas, the commemoration of the birth of the incarnation of the Logos in Christ. Sophia is the phonetic spelling in Latin of the Greek word for wisdom and although sometimes referred to as Sancta Sophia, Saint Sophia, it is not connected with Sophia the Martyr. Its full name in Greek is, Naustis Agias II Theosophias Romanized, Naustis Hagias II Theosophias, lit. Temple of the Holy Wisdom of God. The church housed a large collection of relics and featured a 15-meter, 49-ft, silver iconostasis, citation. Needed. The center of the Eastern Orthodox Church for nearly 1,000 years, the building witnessed the excommunication of Patriarch Michael I Serilarius officially delivered by Humbert of Silver Candida, the papal envoy of Pope Leo IX in 1054, an act that is commonly considered the start of the East-West Schism. The Doge of Venice who led the Fourth Crusade in the 1204 sack of Constantinople, Enrico Dandolo, was buried in the church. In 1453, Mem the Conqueror ordered the cathedral converted into a mosque. The Patriarchate moved to the Church of the Holy Apostles, which became the city's cathedral. Although some parts of the city had fallen into disrepair, the cathedral had been maintained with funds set aside for this purpose, and the Christian cathedral made a strong impression on the new Ottoman rulers who conceived its conversion. The bells, altar, iconostasis, ambo and baptistry were removed and relics destroyed. The mosaics depicting Jesus, his mother Mary, Christian saints, and angels were eventually destroyed or plastered over. Islamic architectural features were added, such as a minbar, pulpit, four minarets, and a mirab, a niche indicating the direction of prayer qibla. From its initial conversion until the construction in 1616 of the nearby Sultan Ahmed Mosque, aka the Blue Mosque, it was the principal mosque of Istanbul. The Byzantine architecture of the Hagia Sophia served as inspiration for many other Ottoman mosques, including the Blue Mosque, the Cezard Mosque, the Suleymaniye Mosque, the Rustam Pasha Mosque and the Kilik Ali Pasha Complex. The complex remained a mosque until 1931, when it was closed to the public for four years. It was reopened in 1935 as a museum by the Secular Republic of Turkey. Hagia Sophia was, as of 2014, the second most visited museum in Turkey, attracting almost 3.3 million visitors annually.
According to data released by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, Hagia Sophia was Turkey's most visited tourist attraction in 2015 and 2019. History The view of the museum from Sultan Ahmet Square Church of Constantius II. The first church on the site was known as the Magna Ecclesia, Megal Ecclesia, Megal Ecclesia, Great Church because of its larger dimensions in comparison to the contemporary churches in the city. Inaugurated on 15 February 360 during the reign of Constantius II by the Ariane Bishop Eudoxius of Antioch, it was built next to the area where the Imperial Palace was being developed. The nearby Hagia Irene, Holy Peace Church was completed earlier and served as cathedral until the Great Church was completed. Both churches acted together as the principal churches of the Byzantine Empire. Writing in 440, Socrates of Constantinople claimed that the church was built by Constantius II, who was working on it in 346. A tradition which is not older than the 7th or 8th century, reports that the edifice was built by Constantine the Great. Zonaras reconciles the two opinions, writing that Constantius had repaired the edifice consecrated by Eusebius of Nicomedia, after it had collapsed. Since Eusebius was Bishop of Constantinople from 339 to 341, and Constantine died in 337, it seems possible that the first church was erected by Constantius. The edifice was built as a traditional colonnaded basilica with galleries and a wooden roof and preceded by an atrium. It was claimed by whom? To be one of the world's most outstanding monuments at the time. The Patriarch of Constantinople John Chrysostom came into a conflict with Empress Elia Eudoxia, wife of the Emperor Arcadius, and was sent into exile on 20 June 404. During the subsequent riots, this first church was largely burned down. Nothing remains of the first church today. Church of Theodosius II. A second church on the site was ordered by Theodosius II, who inaugurated it on 10 October 415. The Notitia Urbis Constantinopolitanae describes the Hagia Sophia as the Magna Ecclesia, Great Church, while the former cathedral Hagia Irene is named the Ecclesia Antiqua, Old Church. The basilica with a wooden roof was built by architect Rufinus. A fire started during the tumult of the Nika revolt and burned the second Hagia Sophia to the ground on 13-14 January 532. Several marble blocks from the Theodosian church survive to the present, among them are reliefs depicting twelve lambs representing the twelve apostles. Originally part of a monumental front entrance, they now reside in an excavation pit adjacent to the museum's entrance after they were discovered in 1935 beneath the western courtyard by the German archaeologist Alphonse Maria Schneider. Further digging was abandoned for fear of impinging on the integrity of the Justinianic building. Remains of the Second Hagia Sophia Church of Justinian The first current structure The geometric conception is based on mathematical formulas of Heron of Alexandria. It avoids use of irrational numbers for the construction Hagia Sophia. Construction of church depicted in Codex Manus's Chronicle, 14th century. On 23 February 532, only a few weeks after the destruction of the Second Basilica, Emperor Justinian I decided to build a third and entirely different basilica, larger and more majestic than its predecessors. Justinian chose geometer and engineer Isidore of Miletus and mathematician Anthemius of Tralles as architects. Anthemius, however, died within the first year of the endeavor. The construction is described in the Byzantine historian Procopius on buildings Perichismaton, Latin, Deridificiis. Columns and other marbles were brought from all over the empire, throughout the Mediterranean. The idea of these columns being spoils from cities such as Rome and Ephesus is a later invention. Even though they were made specifically for Hagia Sophia, the columns show variations in size. More than 10,000 people were employed. This new church was contemporaneously recognized as a major work of architecture. The theories of Hero of Alexandria, a Hellenistic mathematician of the 1st century AD, may have been utilized to address the challenges presented by building such an expansive dome over so large a space. The idea is that display style pi, which is not expressible as a rational number, was approximated and deliberately used as a less accurate rational value that approximates the irrational number, display style pi. This is appropriate for 22 sevenths which was used for solving circle problems in construction. 
when it is ascertained that the circle circumference is U equals D asterisk 22 sevenths, several elegant solutions are produced, among them those which use a diameter which is cancelling the denominator. As thus Svenchon and Stiffel proposed that the architects used Heron's proposed values for constructing vaults. Central for the erection of the dome of the Hagia Sophia was that the central square corresponds to a diagonal, which is expressible as a rational number approximating, display style, SQRT2. If this was not rightly done, all related measures to the square would not be manageable by the instruments of the surveyors of those times. As thus for the calculation of the square measurements derived from the so-called side and diagonal number progression were used. With its help, approximations for display style SQRT2 can be produced, which is essential for measuring all types of square or square-related objects and surfaces, i.e. 1 over 1, 3 halves, 7 fifths, 17 twelfths, 41 twenty-ninths, 99 seventieths. With this method, the squares defined by the numbers 12 and 17, whereas 12 defines the side of the square and 17 its diagonal, has been used as a standard value as early as in cuneiform Babylonian texts. As the great square in Hagia Sophia is 31 m long, it was previously thought, without any reassurance, that this length corresponded to 100 Byzantine feet. Yet such a round figure for the square side would lead to a diagonal with the irrational length of 141.421. Because of the factor, display style, SQRT2. This would mean that the square and all dimensions related to it would not be manageable. It has now been realized that in this context, the diagonal is nothing else but the diameter of the circle defined by the vault circumference, while at the same time, as Heron's circle calculations, in which the practical diameter values 7 and 14 were used, that the diagonal of the square, or diameter of the circle has been calculated with the tenfold of the exemplary value of 14 or else 140 Byzantine feet. If the dimension of the dome diameter of the Hagia Sophia is constructed with a value that fits to the approximation of display style pi 22 sevenths, all derived values become rational, 70 asterisk 22 sevenths equals 220, 105 asterisk 22 sevenths equals 330, 140 asterisk 22 sevenths equals 440, 210 asterisk 22 sevenths equals 660. Interior of the Hagia Sophia, the Patriarchal Basilica in Constantinople designed 537 CE by Isidore of Miletus, the first compiler of Archimedes' various works. The influence of Archimedes' principles of solid geometry is evident. Therefore, Svenchon suggested that the size of the side of the central square of Hagia Sophia is not 100 Byzantine feet, but instead 99. This measurement is not only rational, but is also embedded in the system of the side and diagonal number progression, 1799, and therefore a usable value by the applied mathematics of antiquity. It gives a diagonal of 140 which is manageable for constructing a huge dome as was done in the Hagia Sophia. The Justinian and Patriarch Menas, inaugurated the new basilica on 27 December 537 to 5 years and 10 months after construction started, with much pomp. The mosaics inside the church were only completed in the reign of Emperor Justin II, 565-578. Hagia Sophia was the seat of the Patriarchate of Constantinople and a principal setting for Byzantine imperial ceremonies, such as coronations. Like other churches throughout Christendom, the basilica offered sanctuary from persecution to outlaws. Earthquakes in August 553 and on 14 December 557 caused cracks in the main dome and eastern half dome. The main dome collapsed completely during a subsequent earthquake on 7 May 558, destroying the Ambon, Alta, and Sibrium. The collapse was due mainly to the unfeasibly high bearing load and to the enormous shear load of the dome, which was too flat. These caused the deformation of the piers which sustained the dome. The emperor ordered an immediate restoration. He entrusted it to Isidore as the younger, nephew of Isidore of Miletus, who used lighter materials and elevated the dome by 30 feet, about 6.25 meters or 20.5 feet. Clarification needed, giving the building its current interior height of 55.6 meters, 182 ft. Moreover, Isidorus changed the dome type, erecting a ribbed dome with pendentives, whose diameter lay between 32.7 and 33.5 m. Under Justinian's orders, eight Corinthian columns were disassembled from Baalbek, Lebanon, and shipped to Constantinople around 560. 
This reconstruction, giving the church its present 6th century form, was completed in 562. The Byzantine poet Paul the Silentiary composed a long epic poem, still extant, known as Ekphrasis, for the rededication of the basilica presided over by Patriarch Eutychius on 23 December 562. The Vaulting of the Nave. Annotations. In 726, the Emperor Leo the Isaurian issued a series of edicts against the veneration of images, ordering the army to destroy all icons, ushering in the period of Byzantine iconoclasm. At that time, all religious pictures and statues were removed from the Hagia Sophia. After a brief reprieve under Empress Irene, 797-802, the iconoclasts made a comeback. The Emperor Theophilus, 829-842, had two winged bronze doors with his monograms installed at the southern entrance of the church. The basilica suffered damage, first in a great fire in 859, and again in an earthquake on 8 January 869, that made one of the half-domes collapse. Emperor Basil I ordered the church repaired. After the great earthquake of 25 October 989, which collapsed the Western Dome Arch, Emperor Basil II asked for the Armenian architect Trodat, creator of the cathedrals of Ani and Argina, to direct the repairs. He erected again and reinforced the fallen dome arch, and rebuilt the west side of the dome with 15 dome ribs. The extent of the damage required six years of repair and reconstruction. The church was reopened on 13 May 994. At the end of the reconstruction, the church's decorations were renovated, including the addition of four immense paintings of cherubs, a new depiction of Christ on the dome, a burial cloth of Christ shown on Fridays, and on the apse a new depiction of the Virgin Mary holding Jesus, between the Apostles Peter and Paul. On the great side arches were painted the prophets and the teachers of the church. In his book De Cerimonies Orli Byzantine, Book of Ceremonies, Emperor Constantine VII, 913-919, wrote a detailed account of the ceremonies held in the Hagia Sophia by the Emperor and the Patriarch. Upon the capture of Constantinople during the Fourth Crusade, the church was ransacked and desecrated by the Crusaders, as described by the Greek historian Nicodas Choniates. During the Latin occupation of Constantinople, 1204-1261, the church became a Roman Catholic cathedral. Baldwin I of Constantinople was crowned emperor on 16 May 1204 in Hagia Sophia, at a ceremony which closely followed Byzantine practices. Enrico Dandolo, the Doge of Venice who commanded the sack and invasion of the city by the Latin Crusaders in 1204, is buried inside the church probably in the Upper Eastern Gallery. In the 19th century, an Italian restoration team placed a cenotaph marker, frequently mistaken as being a medieval, near the probable location and still visible today. The original tomb was destroyed by the Ottomans during the conversion of the church into a mosque. At the Byzantine recapture of Constantinople in 1261 by Michael VIII Paleologos, the church was in a dilapidated state. In 1317, Emperor Andronicus II ordered four new buttresses pyramides, Greek pyramides, to be built in the eastern and northern parts of the church, financing them with the inheritance of his deceased wife, Irene. New cracks developed in the dome after the earthquake of October 1344, and several parts of the building collapsed on 19 May 1346. Consequently, the church was closed until 1354, when repairs were undertaken by architects Astras and Peralta. Mosque 1453-1935 Constantinople fell to the attacking Ottoman forces on 29 May 1453. In accordance with the traditional custom at the time, Sultan Mehmet II allowed his troops and his entourage three full days of unbridled pillage and looting in the city shortly after it was captured. Once the three days passed, he would then claim its remaining contents for himself. Hagia Sophia was not exempted from the pillage and looting and specifically became its focal point as the invaders believed it to contain the greatest treasures and valuables of the city. Shortly after Constantinople's defenses collapsed and the Ottoman troops